Morning Show. Turn up your mind. There is this idea that you are a suspect if you are an immigrant or if you are from certain parts of the world or a certain skin tone or a Muslim. It is no accident that members of the Republican Party accused the first black president, Barack Obama, of being a secret Muslim. It is no accident that former President Donald Trump led a birther movement that falsely claimed he was born in Kenya. Because to them, falsely labeling the first and only president of the United States of America, a Muslim and African immigrant, somehow made him less American. Well, I am Muslim. I am an immigrant and interestingly from Africa. Hmm. Is anyone surprised that I am being targeted? Is anyone surprised that I am somehow deemed unworthy to speak about American foreign policy? Or that they see me as a powerful voice that needs to be silenced? Frankly, it is expected. Because when you push power, power pushes back. Representation matters. Continuing to expand our ideas of who is American and who can partake in the American experience experiment is a good thing. I am an American, an American who was sent here, an American who was sent here by her constituents to represent them in Congress. Okay, so Ilhan Omar has been voted off of the committee. Yeah, she's uh, voted off the island because Congress is now like a uh, really bad version of Survivor. It is unbelievable what they've done to Ilhan Omar and uh, why? Why? Why did they do this to her? Anybody? 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 This is retribution, petty retribution, which is what the Republicans excel at. It's what they are uniquely gifted for. Uh, you know, literally petty, petty revenge. This was very important to Marge. This was very important to Paul Gosar. This was very important to people who threatened violence against AOC, Paul Gosar, who was removed from his committee because he threatened violence. This was very important to Marjorie Taylor Greene, who said, this is our 1776 moment, and actually in encouraged and, uh, and incited violence on the Capitol, uh, somebody who was so anti-Semitic that she uh, you know, assessed that there were Jewish space lasers out there that were put there by George Soros. I don't know. Uh, and, and now she was removed from her committees for all the above, and now she wants her five minutes of retribution. She wants her five minutes to troll Ilhan Omar by taking away Ilhan Omar's committee assignment on the Foreign Affairs Committee in the House. This was very important to Marge because, you know, uh, Marge, who was like, you know, uh, she's brilliant, right? Marge is just, wow, she's a force to reckon with. She's somebody that when she speaks, people sit up and say, oh, my God, she's just uh, elucidated a very important problem that needs solving. And I know that she's got the brain power and the, and the uh, 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 fortitude to solve that problem, right? Yeah. I mean, Marjorie Taylor Greene yesterday, I just want to show you something before we play the rest of uh, Ilham, because Ilham was an amazing, uh, it was an amazing floor speech, right? So they sidelined her for two years. Woohoo! Uh, anyway, Marge, this intellectual heft, uh, was on full display yesterday uh, when she, on the oversight committee, what could go wrong, was um, in charge of questioning the head of the General Accountability Office, the GAO, right? She was responsible for asking meaningful questions to get to the bottom of whether or not $60 billion in PPP money, right, small business money, money for states in the global pandemic era, uh, was taken erroneously by small businesses, okay? She was in charge of looking into whether there was fraud in the Paycheck Protection Program. And here's where she went with it, with the General Accountability Office controller. 
can you tell me uh, how much how much COVID cash went to CRT? CRT. Critical race theory in education. It's it's a racist uh, uh, curriculum used to teach children uh, that somehow their white skin is not equal to black skin and what? other things in education. Yeah. Uh, no, I do not know that, but I, I do know that there's f provisions that the uh, federal funds generally are not used, they're supposed to be used for curriculum. Oh, uh, it's a state. Oh, Mr. Dodaro, I have to tell you, in Illinois, that they, they receive 5.1 billion um, at at an elementary school there that that used it for equity and diversity. Um, so it's it's being used for these things. Okay, I mean, really, everybody, where where do you even start with this moronic, uh, you know, a line of questioning? Where do you even start? I, I, honestly, okay. So CRT is only taught in law school, as we all learned, okay, and it's about the law institutionalizing racism, like for instance, redlining by banks, okay, that kind of institutional legal attempt to prevent people from home ownership that actually happened in America in recent history. Okay, so that's what CRT is. She has characterized it as <laughs> teaching children, okay, uh, teaching children that their white skin isn't as good as skin with melanin. I, I don't even know where in the hell... Okay, but it was very important for somebody of that caliber of of of, of intellectual uh, a, a capability of uh, you know uh, somebody who could understand billions of dollars do not go to an elementary school in Illinois. I mean, it just it, it, there is no school where that ever happened. But the idea that she is now in charge of watching our dollars be frittered away by people who got PPP loans and shouldn't have is really quite stunning. But back to uh, what she wanted from Kevin McCarthy. From Kevin McCarthy, she not only wanted to sit on this committee, but she also wanted retribution for her being kicked off committees when she was literally uh, being anti-Semitic and accusing you know, George Soros of having Jewish space lasers and then saying that the government of the United States should be overthrown, that this was our 1776 moment. And so she got her little, uh, you know, revenge today against Ilhan Omar, uh, who I don't even know why they kicked her off. I'm not really sure why they kicked her off, except to say that um, she is somebody who questions foreign policy. 